Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 24H2, this year's annual feature update, is already available in the release preview channel in its final stages of testing, as we have been talking about on the channel, and is also already available on Copilot Plus PCs, um, which Microsoft rolled out on the 18th of June, a month or two ago. Now, just to let you know that... If you are expecting Windows 11 24H2, it seems that Microsoft is starting to um, push the update out to a small subset of Windows users. And basically what this means is if you are expectant for the update, you can head over to your Windows update uh, in Windows 11 23H2 and start checking or seeking for updates as it's also known. And the reason Microsoft starts trickling this out, um, they kind of do it in stages, is just to check how the update goes and to prevent widespread issues. And then as I've mentioned uh, previously on the channel, in a couple of weeks, I would suggest that Microsoft will start pushing out the update to more um, users um, where, where it becomes generally available. Now, if you don't see it like I'm not seeing it on Windows 11 23H2, then don't worry because, as mentioned, um, they are starting to roll it out at this stage to a very small subset of users. So if you want to see if you have the update, um, just come back from time to time and check for updates. And that will force the update um, to be shown on your system. And then obviously you can download and install the feature update because feature updates, when they first roll out, are optional. Now, we are expecting the update, I would suggest, to start rolling out uh, in the fourth week of the month. So that would be Tuesday the 24th, where that will be our optional bug fix C release update for September. And I would suggest that Microsoft will start pushing out the update to a lot more um, uh, users in this week. But just take note, though, that obviously... Um, the updates can take even weeks to get to your system. And Microsoft pushes out these major feature updates, which 24H2 will be, kind of in stages. So at this stage, to a limited, a limited subset of users, I would suggest then at the end of September, moving into October, they would push it out to a few more. And then in the next couple of months, even up to six months, sometimes even to a year, depending if you have compatibility holds on your system with issues or driver problems, then you may only see the update appear on your Windows update page. But just making you aware of this because if we head over to a poll that I conducted on the channel about three weeks ago, um, I asked the question, so will you be installing 24H2 as soon as it becomes available? And out of the 578 votes, 53% of you said yes. So that's why I'm just making you aware of this. Um, Microsoft is now starting to make the update available to a very small subset of users. So just putting it out there to keep you guys posted. And then obviously when 24H2 does roll out to the general public, the download Windows 11 page will change from 23H2 to 24H2. So Microsoft will then roll out the official 24H2 ISO images that can be downloaded from this page, which are still 23H2, but that will all change um, on this page when 24H2 becomes officially available, I would suggest in a couple of weeks' time, as mentioned. So go check. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones, so to speak, um, who may have received the update if, if you seek for it and just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.